In order to make a PDF template available to the PDF for SharePoint app, we must upload it to an account on the PDF for SP.com server. If you haven't done so already, click on the free account button and fill out all of your user information. Then click create user. An email will be sent to you to verify and set up the activation. Once you've clicked the activation link in the email that was sent to you, you're ready to log in. Simply go to Customer Login and enter in your username and password. The service is free to use for one form. If you need more forms, then we have payment options available. For now, let's click on the Browse button and we're going to go browse for the PDF document that we want to use as our template. Then we can click Upload New. Once uploaded, you will see an ID number for this specific PDF that you will need to enter into the PDF for SharePoint app. Select the entire ID number by clicking on it, and then you can right mouse click and copy it. Now that you've uploaded your form, You'll notice that you have an Upload Replacement button here. What this button is for is, let's say you wanted to replace this PDF template because you've maybe changed your form at a future date and time or you're doing some edits. What you can do is you can browse for your PDF form template again and then click on Upload Replacement to overwrite this PDF file. The nice thing is, when you do that, it does not change your ID number. So if you've already placed your ID number over inside of your PDF for SharePoint application, you don't need to change that. You just need to update your PDF here. Let's jump back over to SharePoint. And what we're going to do is open up our PDF for SharePoint app. And if you remember from the last video, we can go in and we can edit available PDF templates. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on new item because I want to add a new template. For the title, I'll just type in my template. And here where it has the PDF template ID, that's where I paste in that long ID number that I copied out of my PDF for SharePoint.com site. Now, the description and the list ID to associate are both optional. What the list ID to associate is all about is, let's say that you have a list and you only want people who are using that list to be able to find your specific template PDF. What you can do is you can go get the ID for your specific list and paste it in here and it'll make it so that when somebody is on that list and they open up pre-fill PDF what they're going to find are just the templates that have been associated with that list. What I'm going to do is skip that step for now just for brevity's sake, and then come back and show you how that works. So I'm just going to go save here. And now I have a new My Template template, which allows me to go back to my team site, then I can go into my lists, and I'll find my Acrobat event list. And now when I click on the ellipsis button and I go to advanced, I have the option to pre-fill a PDF. And when I do that, now I can see I have my test from the previous video, but I have my template in here. So if I click on it, what it's going to do is it's going to reach out and grab the PDF and it's going to pre-populate the fields that match this PDF from my list. 
To get more information on how to pre-populate PDFs with list data from SharePoint, go to pdfforsp.com. That's pdfforsp.com, a service offered by FormRouter.